Now, welcome back. A big artistic celebration for Youth Art Month at the Chapman Cultural Center. We're joined by Dan Mayer to tell us a little bit more about the event to emphasize the value of art education for our children. We also have some of the winning student artists and some of their teachers as well with us. Good morning to all of you. Thank you so much for being here. We love what the Chapman Cultural Center does to increase the art education in our communities and exposure to art in our community. But Dan, tell us about why you guys decided to do youth art education and, and a celebration for that month. Well, education in, in the schools is so important and arts education is an essential part. It's the flavor, it's the seasoning in the education and in the curriculum. And we really think it's an important part of what kids do. It's not only about math, it's about math and art. It's about science and art. So we try to make sure that the schools have resources and inspiration and guidance on how we can best help them bring art to all the kids in all the schools. And we hear about STEM, you know, science, technology, engineering, math, and arts in schools, uh, but how important is that to start them at that young age, that, that exposure to arts early on? And we, we see how, you know, kids that start that age, they grow up to be, you know, more inquisitive, more, you know, more engaged in the arts as adults as well. Well, a creativity and curiosity are linked, and arts really encourage creativity and curiosity about all subjects. Uh, really, high tech is built on creativity and problem solving, and art is about problem solving. Absolutely, and I think we have some video of the, you know, the big reception that you guys had in the gallery that was in the Chapman Cultural Center. Talk about what you guys did uh, for Youth Education, Art Education Month, and uh, it was a contest as well? Mm -hmm. Every month, every year we do an uh, annual display of work from all seven school districts. We work in over 70 schools in Spartanburg County, working with teachers, uh, offering uh, opportunities and in classroom and in school pro performances and residencies. And during Art Youth Month, uh, we have been, a, all our halls are filled with art. And this year we did a award for the President's Award for the best art, or just subjectively the best art that we saw on the walls. At, from, uh, and it was from all different schools all over the county. Awesome, and we have some of the winners here today that I want to introduce you guys to. These are the winners of the, the President's Award. Um, Elenai Cuervo Rodriguez, in your second grade there, um, can, you, can you tell us what, you, what your picture was? What did you create? Do you know what your image was? Like the woman with the long neck. Yeah. Like on the side, leaning over. There it is. It's beautiful, Elenai. It's, it's fantastic. How long did it take you to make that? Not long? Not like that long. Just yeah, like she says, not that long. I've been working on it. It's just, it came together, right? Um, our second winner that we have here uh, is Maddie Lattimore from Shirley Creek Elementary School. And uh, your art teacher, Lorraine Mosseller. Ma Ma oh, awesome. Uh, tell us about your piece. Uh, I made a s Starry Night pumpkin um, inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. Van Gogh, okay, we, we love that. Uh, tell us, what is it like to have to be working with these students at this young age to create something that goes on display? I mean, a lot of people wait until they're like older to maybe even you know, try to get something on display. To get it at this age is fantastic. Well, I just really like that we have the Chapman Cultural Center that can offer these possibilities for these students to display their art. And um, I like um, encouraging these kids to keep growing um, and making their art and uh, enjoy seeing Maddie win award like this. Awesome. Well, congratulations <laughs> to Maddie. And we also have uh, from grade six to eight, the winner is Jolyn Pate uh, from Woodruff Middle School and her teacher, Brian McConnell. Congratulations. Tell us about your piece. It's just an acrylic painting of a bedroom from Google for a class project. Awesome. <laughs> and what, what is it like in, in class to be able to encourage these students to, to create work and display work? Well, as you, you know, sometimes people think it, it is for the younger ages and, you know, through middle school and high school, just seeing the, the kids continue to uh, produce art and, and just enjoy what they do is always uh, enjoyable as the art teacher as well. And, and we see it all the time. So just like she said, to be able to have it at the Chapman Culture Center and let everyone else see what we see all the time is fantastic. Awesome. Well, thank you for all that the art teachers and the students have done. Congratulations on the awards. There was one winner that couldn't be here today, and that was the ninth through 12th grade winner, Sophia Capuzin from grade 10. She's at Burns High School, and her teacher, um, Raylan Chambliss. So congratulations to all those winners. And I know that Dan is going to give them uh, uh, some certificates here after we get into a break, and that's, uh, that's the other, the ninth 
ninth to 12th grade winner there on your screen. Dan, for people that want to be connected to what's going on at the Chapman Cultural Center, what is the best way for them to do that? You can follow us on social media or you can subscribe to our weekly newsletter. Just go to uh, chapmanculturalcenter.org and we're in many ways to learn more. Awesome. You guys do such a great job of all things arts in our community. Thank you all so much. Congratulations to each of you. And come back and see us with your next pieces. We'll appreciate that.